request to do a um, hair product video, um, the stuff I use on my hair and how I keep it looking healthy and just, you know, keep it from breaking, especially since I use a lot of bleach on my hair. Um, so I wanted to just do a quick video of some of um, my favorite hair products and also the hair products that I use every day. Um, well, the hair products I use every day is, of course, my brush, which has a ton of hair in it. <laughs> Because I have a lot of hair and it always comes out. So it's a brush. This is an extension brush. Um, the bristles are both hard and soft. And it's good for extensions. And it's good for getting the root of your extensions. Because sometimes when you have extensions, the individual ones like I have, which are... I don't know if you can see them. They're the micro links. You have to really brush at the root. And it's hard to get without an extension brush. So I use this every single day. Night, day, in my purse. Always have this. Um, and then also on my daily brushes, I have my teasing brush where I just tease a little, um, if this is perfect because, um, it's got like this little like short thin end and that helps you like pick it up. So you just like tease, 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 brush it down and then you can kind of pick it and it helps you section off your hair too. So like if you want different parts, you can zigzag it. Um, I do a side part, but you can always do it to the middle, and it just gives you a really nice parting. Um, you can get both of these brushes at, well, my sister gets them at Cosmoprof, because she's a cosmetologist, but you can also get them at Ulta or Sally's have really good brushes. Um, so, that goes in my brush. Um, this is a pick. Um, again, after you tease it, it's more for when I have my big curly hair, but I always just kind of go through the hair and the roots and just kind of bring it out to kind of give it that tease, but it's not really teased today. Um... This is like a tease to go comb. It's got the double tooth. And again, it's just another like teasing, you know, back tease. You would just back tease it if you want it. The higher and higher, just rat it higher and higher, the higher you want your hair. Um, and then I got some hair scrunchies because I wear my hair on top of my head to go to bed. Um, these are my clips for when I splatten my hair. I like clip up my real hair and then I'll clip up like layers of it with these butterfly clips. I have a lot of them in here. I also have smaller ones um, for when I curl my hair. I put the pink curls on or if I just need to put like a section up. Um, so that's my, that my little brush box. Um, now I usually like when I straighten it or curl it, I usually always use this curling iron. Um, my sister got it for me um, from her school. Uh, she gets it at these hair shows, but I think I've seen these at the mall. <laughs> so it's really not that great, but um, I don't mean it's great, but you just straighten it. I mean, I really don't even take time when I straighten my hair because I let it, I have Brazilian blot, so I kind of just let it dry naturally, and I just flatten the top is the most important, and then the edges, so it's just not frizzy. And it's just really, I mean, it literally takes me like 20 minutes to straighten my hair. Um, for when you do wear it straight, I use Straight Sexy Hair. It's by Big Sexy Hair. Um, you spray it so there's no, like, flyaways or anything. Um, my hair's really frizzy and it gets really, um, it just will really poof out if I don't put this down. But it's, it makes your hair really sleek and it kind of gives it that shine. And you just, um, you just spray it kind of far. I mean, I'm not even at a mirror, but... It just gives it that little shine. I have no idea because I don't have a mirror like right there, so I don't know. But I mean, it's just spray, just spray, kind of far like hairspray. Um, okay. Also, too, a good, uh, good anti frizz thing, and always do this when you have. Um, you can use it on dry hair. I do it when I, I just first get out of the shower. I put a little bit of this um, Moroccan oil on it. This brand is at. at there, I think is how you say it. Um, you can use it on extensions. Um, try not to put so much at your root because it will get greasy, but I put it more down here. It just helps like, keep the shine, and when you first get out of the shower, it helps you detangle because my hair is really hard to detangle. Um, but this is good for, like I said, damp hair before you dry it and then even after you dry it if you want a little shine, but um, mine, gets, um, mine gets dried out, so I use a lot of this. Um, it's really good stuff. Okay, now for the showering part of my hair, when I wash it, I only wash my hair every two days. I shower every day, of course, but I only wash my hair every two days because I do have extensions and I do have really um, coarse blonde hair that's really fragile blonde hair, and it can break off easily if you wash it a lot, and it just doesn't even need to be washed a lot, so I don't, and it takes a lot of time to do it, but I do use Goldwell shampoo and Goldwell conditioner, rich repair for colored hair. Um... These are the big kind. You buy them in bulk. Again, these are Cosmoprof, um, but you can get them. I've seen them at Target. I've seen them at Nemi's. You can get them pretty much anywhere. Um, and then 
I use one squirt of this shampoo, and then I also use, for the second wash, I use the Color Save Shampoo by Schwarzkopf. Um, and it's actually purple. This is the purple shampoo I told you all about. I don't want to get it on my bed, but it's purple. And it goes on purple, and you leave it on for as long as you want. So if you want a silver tone, leave it on for like 15 minutes. Like, don't even wash it out, it's my opinion. Just keep it on forever, and it'll be really silver. If you want... I get mine like an ashy, I get purple on me. If you want like an ashy color like this, I leave it on for about 10 minutes, shave your legs, do what you gotta do, and um, it'll get it that ashy. If you just want it to keep it blonde like my sister does, just keep it blonde, blonde, and not go yellow, you know, a couple minutes, rinse it out. It's like regular shampoo. And then the big, big secret to extensions and anti-frizz care is um, this uh, Brazilian Blowout Deep Conditioning Mask. I do this once a week. Um, instead of conditioner, I use this. I just, you know, take a quarter size, or for me, I take two quarter sizes and put one on each and just kind of really work it through your hair, like almost brush it through your hair while you're showering, and let it sit. Like, make sure it's damp in here and, like, let it sit. Like, I turn my water off completely and just, like, have it sit on my head for, like, 20 minutes. Like, go out and do stuff, like, put deodorant on, whatever, for 20 minutes, and then just rinse it out in the faucet. But after you're all done, I use this. Um, it's, just make sure you leave it in. It's a really great mask. It leaves your hair feeling really healthy, really easy to get through. Um... Yeah, and it looks, it looks great, like, um, especially, like, if you curl your hair a lot, like I do, um, to get it to, easy to comb out, you can use this, too, because it's hard to comb out your hair after it curls. Oh, and also make sure you brush your hair before you get in the shower, especially when you curl your hair. Brush it all out before you get in or straight hair. That way you have less tangles to deal with in the shower. Um, so those are my hair care products slash tips. Um, I kind of took you through most of it. Um, actually, that's all of it. I went through my bathroom, took it all, brought it out here, and hopefully it helps. And um, maybe I'll like some of the products. Um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully hopefully this helps. Hopefully this is what you guys wanted. I, I got a lot of requests to do this, so I'm not saying my hair is perfect, but um, I do like to take care of it. <laughs> all right. Well, um, leave me requests if you want to see another hair video or um, maybe you want to see my different curling rods. I have a lot of them, but I didn't. I figured just the basics were good for now. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching.